Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Addicts to Victory. Last time we left off with a disappointing episode, really. Defeats to Hull and then defeat to Bournemouth. And since then we played just one game. Uh, we drew one all with Coventry. Carlos Tevez penalty. Giving us the lead, but an 85th minute own goal from Leon Balogun pulled Coventry level. And it was only a point there. Uh, but we're back today with two big games, I think. Uh, first up against Blackburn in the Carabao Cup fourth round last year. We beat Blackburn in the Carabao Cup and we got to the quarterfinal. So hopefully we can beat Blackburn again and get to the quarterfinal again. Fingers crossed for that one. And then afterwards we go against Portsmouth. Portsmouth finished second in League One last year. We finished top. Both newly promoted. We're currently 15th. Portsmouth currently 7th. Absolutely flying in the table at the moment, Portsmouth. So, could be a tough game, but I think hopefully we'll be able to get some results there. Hopefully, result-wise, we'll do a bit better than the two defeats we had last episode. Team-wise, this is how we're lining up against Blackburn. The 5-4-1. Uh, Maynard Brewing goal, of course. Uh, back defence of Matthews, Cole, Will, Balogun, Manning and Plachetta. And then Dobson in CDM, Forster Cassidy in the hand of centre mid, Kirk in cam and Sunset Belt up top. Hopefully we can get a result here against Blackburn. I would love to get to the Carabao Cup quarterfinal again and hopefully this time progress a little bit further. We'll have to wait and see for that. Leicester have been knocked out by Norwich so we wouldn't have to worry about them this year. Uh, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves. we got to get through Blackburn first and so let's get right into this game. Plachetta with the throw in here in the first minute. To the hand that gets the ball back, cross in, headed away, but Balogun running onto it. And he holds on, forced the Kasky to Balogun. The hander out to Manning. Manning to Placetta. Placetta into Kirk, back to Manning to Placetta. Moving the ball around well, Placetta. Back to Manning, cross in, headed clear, forced the Kasky. Headed clear, oh my god, Balogun on the ball again. Out to Matthews, can we find a shot here? Matthews. Back to Colwell to force the Kasky. Cross in. And <sighs> Judson's at belt is pushed to the floor. It will be a penalty for Chilton in the third minute here. Uh, yeah, Yen the hander to take. Can we take an early lead here against Blackburn in the third minute? Yan the hander stepping up from the spot for Chilton. The hander scores. Chilton 1, Blackburn 0. We lead after three minutes. What a start here from the Alex. Played really well. Waited our time. And Sunset Bell fouled in the box. The hander converting from the spot. And just like that, we have an early lead in the Carabao Cup against Blackburn Rovers here. Colwell with the free kick by the halfway line. Forced to Kasky, to Dobson, to Kirk. Kirk to the hander, to Sunset Bell. Has a go, but it's blocked behind for a Cholton Athletic corner here in the 39th minute. Forced to Kasky, steps up. He curls the ball in. And it's headed just over the bar by Balogun. But good play from Cholton still. Contr in control of this game. Eight shots to their two. 1.17 XG to their 0.04. 60% possession. Cholton 1-0 up and in control here. Free kick. Ryan Manning. And it's saved well by Kaminsky. Cholton playing very well at the moment in this Caravelle Cup tie. Another free kick. Manning whips it in. Balogun. Headers onto the crossbar. Cholton so close to doubling their lead just before half-time here at the Valley. But it looks like that will be it for the first half. And it is Cholton 1-0 up in control, playing beautifully. As things stand, we will be going to another Carabao Cup quarter-final. Goal kick. Kaminsky pumps it forward. And Bradley Dak gets onto it. He has a go from about 35 yards out. Maynard Brewer easily saving that one. And I'm going to make a sub uh, just for performance-wise. Sunset Bell not having the best game. Going to bring on Jaden Stockley in his place. Play him as a target forward rather than a pressing forward. He doesn't really have the pace to press the defence. Uh, but Dobson on the ball here. The sub not yet made. Balogun to Forster Kasky. Forster Kasky to Plachetta. Plachetta on the left-hand side. Will he get the ball in? He does. And Sunset Bell. Has a shot blocked behind by Sandler there. Matthews with the throw to Kirk, to Colwell, to Matthews. Forced to Kasky on the ball, to Stockley, to Dobson, 
to Kirk. John waiting their time. Kirk to the hander. Out on the left to Plachetta. Plachetta going down the left. Cross in to Stockley. Gets his head to it. That easily saved by Kaminsky in the end. 67th minute here. Adam Matthews a bit tired. So we're going to bring on Sean Clare in his position. And Plachetta a bit tired as well. So we're going to bring on Tariq Uwakwi for him. Corner for Cholton. For Stokaski. Whips the ball into the box. And Leon Balogun's there at the near post to head it home. Cholton doubling their lead in the 80th minute here. Great goal. Balogun with the header. And, I mean, <laughs> no sooner has Balogun scored that I'm probably about to take him off. He seems very tired out there. So I'm going to make a double change here, I think. Balogun for Deji. And Cole will quite tired as well. So we're going to bring on Calvin Bassi for him. Just some more energy in the defence to try and maintain this two-goal lead and send us to the Carabao Cup semi-final. And Slimba to Buckley. And Simba to Rankin Costello. Black one going forward now. And Simba on the ball to Hurahan. Back to Simba. Rankin Costello in the box. And Simba, Buckley's header. Well saved by Maynard Brewer in the end. Stockley on the ball to Kirk. Out to Sean Clare on the right. Dribbles it forward. Back to Bassey, to force to Kasky, Charlie Kirk, to the hander, has a shot, blocked well though, by the Blackburn defender. In Simba, ball in the box, Uwakwe clearing it well, ball forward, Charlie Kirk getting onto it, getting it to Sean Clare, to Kirk, on the right hand side for Charlton, gets it back to Bassey, to Dobson, to the hander, the hander going forward, to through to Stockley, has a go! It was curling into the top corner. It's a brilliant save from Kaminsky to deny Jaden Stockley Charlton's third here. And we're into an, the allotted four minutes of added time. Charlton 2-0 up. And it looks like after a dominant display from the Addicts, we will be moving forward into the Carabao Cup quarterfinal. Ball played forward by Maynard Brewer. Alexander collecting for Blackburn. Blackburn not much time here. They pump it forward, but it's fired away by Manning this time. And that is the full-time whistle. Charlton Athletic 2, Blackburn Rovers 0. Charlton are into the Caravel Cup quarterfinal for the second year running. What a performance from the Addicts. So pleased. Lads, a very, very nice victory. Balogun, you scored. You did well out there. Maynard Brewer as ever. You did well out there. Man of the match was Plachetta. So you, are, so I'm, I'm very happy with your performance, Plachetta, you know. I'm very pleased with everyone's performance as we advance to the Carabao Cup quarterfinal yet again. So pleased. We absolutely bang in this tournament for whatever reason. FA Cup, never heard of it. But the Carabao Cup, somehow, we just really enjoy. And we're doing well in once again. The final eight for the second year in a row. I mean, it's not quite League One Charlton in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal. But Championship Charlton in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal. Pretty good as well. And here we are with the Carabao Cup quarter-final draw. Uh, in the previous year's draw, we really just wanted to avoid City, and we ended up with the second-hardest team, Leicester. We went out 2-1, which was disappointing. It was a good performance. This year's draw, I mean, there's a lot of teams I don't want to get. Chelsea could still advance. I don't want them. Liverpool could still advance. I don't want them. I, don't, I wouldn't particularly like Everton. Arsenal or United, I don't want. Brentford, I'd rather avoid. Palace... I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't mind Palace, I wouldn't mind Norwich, wouldn't mind Wolves, to be honest with you. But still, no easy games, God knows who we'll get, let's get into it. It will be Arsenal or Man United against Liverpool or Everton. Or, I mean, it will be a big game, won't it? It would probably, probably be Man United, Liverpool, a huge game in the quarterfinal. Uh, next up, Chelsea or West Ham versus, not me, versus Norwich. Oh, I mean, team-wise, I think on our day, we're good enough to beat any of the four remaining teams. So I don't mind as much. But it will be us at home against Crystal Palace. An all-championships high. A championship team will be in the Carabao Cup semi-final. And hopefully it will be us. Hopefully we can get better over Crystal Palace and get there uh, at Brentford Wolves as well. Big game. But it is this. And this will be an episode i mean will it be the next episode it doesn't have a date yet oh no it does oh but because of the bloody world cup yeah because of the bloody world cup it's later so god knows when this will be 
I mean, maybe we'll do a, this cup special. We'll do the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup court final in the same episode. God knows, but that'll be one or two episodes down the line, I think. Uh, but a huge tie, nonetheless. Charlton Palace in the court final. One of us will be getting to the Carabao Cup semi final or championship team in the semi final. Fingers crossed it's us. But there's enough for the Carabao Cup for now. Now, moving on to a huge game in the championship against Portsmouth. And here is the team for the game against Portsmouth. Unchanged team for the side of the Big Blackburn. Why would I change it? The team played perfectly against Blackburn and dominated the game. Hopefully, we can have another really good performance here against Portsmouth and pick up three points in the league as well today. But free kick for Portsmouth whips in. Maynard Brewer claims it well in the air. Maynard Brewer looking for a man now. Who's he going to go with? And he pumps it forward to Kirk. But it's over him to Ogleville. Flamozzi. Ogleville. Tunnel cliff for Portsmouth. Portsmouth going forward now. Mark Weeze. Flamozzi. Flamozzi to Ogleville. Ogleville holding it up back to Bettinelli for Portsmouth. Out to Ogleville again. They love getting me to say Ogleville. Colwell intercepts though to the hander. To Sunset Bell. Taking it forward now. Sunset Bell. Tackled but it drops to Ryan Manning. Wake holding the ball up. Trying to get it to Placetta. But it's a poor ball forward. Pumped forward by Portsmouth to Mark Weeze. Who buries it? Portsmouth 1, Charlton nil. Disappointing start from the Addicts here. Giving the ball away constantly. And Portsmouth have punished us for it. Bettinelli goal kick to Ogleville. Pumps it forward. Colwell gets there for Mark Weeze though. Back to Maynard Brewer. Forward to Forster Kasky. Forster Kasky out wide to Placetta. Going down the left-hand side. Placetta holds it up. Oh, intercepted by Freeman though. Portsmouth back on the ball. Uh, Evans on the ball. Orhokhide. Moral. Orhokhide. Evans. Oh my god. These bloody Portsmouth names are so long. and have so many weird letter combinations. Freeman back to Moral. Moral to Tunnelcliffe. To Flamozzi. Flamozzi to Ogleville. Ogleville. Gives it to Flamozzi. To Marquise. Marquise to Chukwamenka. Who scores? Poor from Charlton. And we're 2-0 down within 19 minutes here. This is not going well here. Petanelli with the goal kick to Ogleville. Blackburn building from the back again. Colwell wins the header though. Gets to the force to Kasky. To Kirk. To De Hander. Jan De Hander on the right hand side for Charlton. De Hander. Plays it to Matthews. Ball in. Headed clear, but Dobson collects. Dobson out to Matthews on the right-hand side. To De Hander. Ball into Stockley, who nods it in. Jaden Stockley having come on for the injured Sunset Bell. Gets the goal and pulls us back here. Portsmouth 2. Charlton 1. Half-time here. Portsmouth 2-1 up. Pretty 50-50 game. Both have five shots. Two on target. 52% possession to 48. It's a close game. Portsmouth had the two-goal lead. We got one back just before half-time, though. Hopefully we can press on in the second half and get something here. I'm going to make another... Force the Kasky tired. I'm going to bring him off for Alex Gilby. And I know I shouldn't make all my subs by half-time, but I'm going to bring on Carlos Tevez, I think. I just want a bit more of an attacking threat. Charlie Kirk not having the best game. Bring on Tevez. A bit more goal instinct. Try and get this equaliser here. Adam Matthews with the throw to Carlos Tevez. Back to Matthews. To the hander. Matthews. Ball into Stockley. Who gets his head onto it. And Bernelli makes a brilliant diving save. To tip it behind for a Charlton corner. Placetta whips in. And it is headed clear by Chuck. 18 minutes on the clock here. All players tired. I'm going to make a big change here I think. I'm going to up top. I'm moving Tevez up next to Stockley. I'm going to tell Tevez to play as a poacher and I'm going to tell my goalie to pump the ball to Stockley and my hope is Stockley just heads the ball forward to Tevez and Tevez I mean I'm trying to so say Tevez runs onto it Tevez isn't running onto much with six acceleration and nine pace but still hopefully Tevez can do something with it I'll we'll just move the hander into cam Move Dobson a bit further forward as well. And hopefully we can find an equaliser in this final 10 minutes here. Ogleville on the ball for Portsmouth to Morton. Ogleville. Ogleville to Orohokide. To Raggett. Raggett to Mo Monoga. Moral now. <laughs> Monoga. Out to Freeman on the right hand side for Portsmouth. Freeman whips it in. Marco, he's header. Oh, Maynard Brewer gets a hand, but it's pushed in. 84 minutes. 
Portsmouth doubled their lead again, 3-1 up. I think that is all she wrote for today in this game. Disappointing. Moving down to 19th in the table. Oh, it started all so promising, didn't it? <laughs> 19th in the table. I mean, we're predicted to get relegated. My aim is just to not get relegated this season, so I think we should be good enough for that. But it is going to be defeat today against Portsmouth. Disappointing from the Reds. Cole will our best player, but not good enough overall, I would say. Not happy with the team's performance. You know, I'd, lis I'd listen to Jackson there for some reason. I'm distracted. And the team aren't happy either. <laughs> Oh, I, at least we didn't lose both games this episode. Oh, that's progress. <laughs> Next episode, let's try and not lose any games, you know. Uh, but maybe I'm dreaming too high with that one. <laughs> Sunset Bell's thankfully only out for two to three days. Uh, three of my Chelsea low knee players, all currently injured, you know. Chelsea probably loving what I'm doing to their kids. But it is to the defeat in this, is defeat to in this episode. At least we had a victory earlier on. With that win in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup against Blackburn. Moving into the quarterfinals. Where we will face a big derby against Crystal Palace in January. But that, I think, is all for today. When will we be back? I think we'll be back at the end of October. For another game against Crystal Palace in the league. Two huge South East London derbies. First, away to Palace. And then secondly, at home to Millwall. I mean, if you're putting those games back to back. I have to do an episode on it, don't I? Two huge games where we are going to want to win, aren't we? I mean, against two rivals, you want to win, don't you? You want to establish dominance. Hopefully, we'll be able to. But that is the next time. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode and you're enjoying the series as a whole. If you are, then drop a like and subscribe to the channel for updates on this series. Maybe go check out my other FM22 series, La Cobham Supremacy with Chelsea, if you haven't already. And thank you for watching. Bye.